Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally, a superstar emerges in San Antonio. May 2004. A few months later, Pacquiao faced Mexican boxer puncher Juan Manuel Marquez. In the first round, the Pac-Man, with furious intent, dropped Marquez three times. Juan Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? But in a tremendous display of resiliency, Marquez continued on. Hard right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again. This was called by many the fight of the year. Both warriors battled through withering assaults and vicious attacks. Both have the hearts of champions. A hellacious night would end with a disappointing and controversial draw. March 2005. The Filipino phenomenon would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mexico's legendary Eric Morales in what would begin an epic trilogy. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Pacquiao and Morales exhibited boxing mastery. What incredible competitors both of these guys are. And the blinding speed of Pacquiao's apparent, and Morales chases him across the ring and says, let's fight. Morales won by unanimous decision. Do you want a rematch? Anytime, um, anywhere. January 2006. For a frenzied Las Vegas crowd, Pacquiao sought redemption. This time, the Filipino fighter wasted no time in dismantling Morales. The war is on! Round by round, Pacquiao attacked and attacked. A visibly worn down and beaten Morales totally exhausted. faced the inevitable in the late rounds. With blistering jabs and hooks and hard straight left hands, that's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Pacquiao seized the moment. Morales could not repeat his past success against Pacquiao, losing his fourth fight as a pro and setting the stage for a new trilogy. Ten months after Pacquiao evened the score with Morales, they faced off again in the highly anticipated rubber match. And right from the opening bell, Pacquiao made a statement about his intentions. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Now Pacquiao lands a right and a left. And another right hook. Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. The brave Mexican warrior tried to stand toe to toe, but was no match for the younger, stronger, faster Filipino star. Morales chases him and lands a right. They trade punches at the rope. And when they trade punches, Morales takes a gamble with Pacquiao's strength and power. And down he goes! It's hard to imagine how Morales can last long against this. What guts by Morales! He strafes Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady feet. Pacquiao continued his relentless assault, putting an exclamation point on the latest epic trilogy. Another huge left hand by Pacquiao. Punch after punch after punch. Manny wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't get up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. 2008, in his first fight at 135 pounds, Pacquiao met David Diaz for Diaz lightweight title belt. Pacquiao's remarkable hand speed was on display early and often. Uppercut by Pacquiao, mixing his punches brilliantly. Catches Diaz with the left hand. The speed and skill of Manny Pacquiao is amazing to behold. A southpaw Jack Dempsey in the lightweight division with speed and power beyond compare. The courageous Diaz kept coming forward and Manny's accurate punches continued to connect. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. And the Pacquiao storm once again continues. The bloody mask speaks for itself. Look at his punches, he's just too fast. A nearly flawless Pacquiao performance came to an end in round nine. Increasingly on the defensive, Diaz has less and less to offer. How many more? Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. December 2008. 
Pacquiao and Oscar De La Hoya squared off in a much celebrated dream match. From the opening bell, Pacquiao's speed advantage shocked De La Hoya and rocked him back on his heels. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao, and Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut up the middle. He might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and awe. Blending his blinding speed with precision accuracy, Pacquiao continued peppering De La Hoya to the head and body. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. This is getting embarrassing. And he is gradually reconfiguring De La Hoya's beautiful face. You can't handle your speed, son. Manny Pacquiao never let up on boxing's most well-known star. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. After eight brutal rounds, De La Hoya's corner had seen enough. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? You're with that? It's done! Manny Pacquiao has beaten Oscar De La Hoya. May 2009. The Red Hot Pacquiao met Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Pacquiao came out on fire, giving Hatton all he could handle in round one. Follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Hatton wants to fight back. Pacquiao's hands are blindingly fat. Another perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino slugger. In round two, Pacquiao closed the show in scintillating fashion. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stunned Hatton and knocked him back. Look at the brilliant accuracy of Manny Pacquiao. Landing with both right and left hands. Boom. Oh my gosh, what a straight left hand. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the most spectacular one-punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. November 2009, Pacquiao once again moved up in weight, this time taking on Puerto Rican star Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao and Cotto went at each other with a vengeance, and a couple of the early rounds were classics. There's the speed advantage for Pacquiao. He starts to open up. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. Crowd comes out of its seat for that one. Uppercut snaps Pacquiao's head back. Pacquiao hits Cotto with a hard left hand. And another. And another. Pacquiao began to take control with knockdowns in rounds three and four. Manny landed a little right hook in there and follows up by knocking Cotto down. First knockdown of the fight. Now it's Cotto whose back is against the rope. And he fights his way off and goes down again. And Cotto is hurt by that knockdown where he wasn't hurt by the first one. Cotto was never the same, and now Pacquiao was increasingly relentless. And Cotto is beginning to retreat constantly, and he almost went down again. Hard right hook by Pacquiao, landing more or less at will now. Cotto backs into the corner, he's in big trouble now. The fight could end in a matter of seconds. Bloodied and beaten, Miguel Cotto showed tremendous courage, continuing the fight into the final round. Now Kenny Bayless does his duty. We thought Manny Pacquiao was great. It's better than we thought. March 2010. Pacquiao and Joshua Clotty met in the first ever fight at Spectacular Cowboy Stadium. Sacrifice instruction, protect yourself and obey my commands, okay? Let's do it. There's not much better than the moments right before the opening bell of a Manny Pacquiao fight, except for the moments right after the opening bell. So, Will Pacquiao be patient? Can he take several rounds and try to construct a way of picking Clotty apart? Or will he get frustrated and impatient? Well, I tell you what, he's throwing shots that he still hasn't been able to do too much. And the main thing, I think he start, should start preparing himself to try to win a decision, as I said earlier. Well, he's preparing to win a decision because, unless I'm totally out to lunch here, and barring a big change, he'll exit this round up two rounds to nothing on the scorecards. Pacquiao hit cleanly to the head. More than we've seen him hit cleanly to the head in the Diaz, De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto fights combined, I think. And Cotto had some success early. Yes, he did. Most people gave Cotto a couple of rounds. 
the first and the fifth. No, 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 no. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not sure what Raphael was stopping them for for a second there. Pacquiao looked like through a through a right and left hand at the same time, like clapped Cotty, Cotty. Harold, what was Raphael dealing with there? Jim, you can't hit the guy with two hands. Ah. Manny Pacquiao threw two hands at once. Raphael, oh, Raphael here Raphael we go. Him. Cloudy backed into a corner and for a moment was inert as Manny banged away. I'm not sure what's happening to Joshua Cloudy and why he's not throwing Emmanuel. There he goes. He's got the talent, but he seems to be still a little too reserved. And but, word but of getting tired. Not word willing of to lay hit. himself not on the line to try to win the fight. Right. But but this is how Claudi fights, and normally it's enough to win, in, uh, you know, except when he stepped up against the best right. But he knew he was fighting Manny Pacquiao. When he steps up in class, he loses. And those what fights. we all knew is that he would have to be someone he's not to win. We're asking a lot of him. Claudi's not known for a high out punch output in the first place. Um, and now he's facing a guy who can punch and who's throwing 100 punches around and stepping around him and boxing him beautifully. You move your hands at your own peril. There you go. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Body shot, body shot. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Try and stop it. Bang, bang. Here I come. Bang. Do you want to throw sometime? Bang. This is the Manny Pacquiao who has dominated boxing for the past three years. Bang! 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 And when Pacquiao... Do you want to throw back? Bang! Keep when, coming! When Pacquiao starts doing this, now I tend to agree, Claudi has to do something to keep no, him off. No, no, no. See what Manny's doing? What he gets hit by something, back, and he comes right back. If you hit me, I'm going to come back with five more the, punches. That's, that's what the competitor does, right. right. And Claudia, it doesn't have that in him. That's the difference. Oh, what a display. What an amazing display by Pacquiao. Claudia's having maybe his best round, and Pacquiao is rising He's to the occasion. He's going to take it right back from him. He's not going to let him have it. <laughs> Eleven rounds in the books. One round to go. Manny Pacquiao is blowing the roof off of Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Another dominant performance, another marquee victory for boxing's king of the world. November 2010, Pacquiao stepped into the ring with Antonio Margarito. Antonio Margarito has said that Manny Pacquiao better be ready for war. Pacquiao always is, and so are we. Margarito has landed not only some shots, he landed a headbutt followed by a right hand. These are hard shots from a big man. And the size, size has been a big factor in this fight, as I see right here. But speed belongs to Pacquiao. Good left hook inside by, or left cross inside by Pacquiao. He lands the right hook too as Margarito steps in. Pacquiao flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits him flush with a big left hand. And then flurries and backs Margarito off again. Pacquiao using the hand speed advantage to get Margarito off of it. I think you're looking at 12 rounds of nervous jeopardy, but he might win every round. What we see On the here. other hand, Margarito is telling his corner and has told them several times, according to interpreter Jerry Olaya, he has no power, he can't hurt me. Talking about Pacquiao. Now, the marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. in this round. There's a huge welt under Margarito's right eye. He's backing Margarito up, and he's hurting him. And Margarito can say all he wants that Pacquiao can't hurt him, but that's not true. Now Margarito catches Pacquiao twice against the ropes, and Manny finally is able to dodge away. But this gives Margarito energy. This yeah. gives him will and confidence. Suddenly he's back in the fight. 
as he's tasted for a moment the advantage of having Pacquiao against the ropes. This is Pacquiao's nightmare. Locked in a trap against a much bigger man. Fights his way out of it. Bloodies Margarito some more. Margarito banging him against the ropes here. Trying to get to Pacquiao's body. That could change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and bangs oh. Margarito viciously. Left cross straight on the bad eye. And another one. Right on that badly bruised right eye of Margarito. Pacquiao hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. He's a former flyweight beating up one of the biggest welterweights we ever saw. Freddie Roach wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Unbelievable machine. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Tattooing Park Margarito. Yeah. Well, when all of that, the, the Margarita just mentally and physically fatigued both. And this uh, what right hook. That's, he what he he he's ready to go. that's one of the biggest jabs yeah. I've ever seen. It was a right hook. He didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao Stop Margarita on the track. Perfect fight. He really wants to win the fight, even mm -hmm. though he's mm -hmm. hopelessly mm -hmm. behind and no, getting No head movement at all. He's a referee. There's no head movement Pacquiao at all. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. This is not Manny Pacquiao the fighter. This is Manny Pacquiao the congressman, Manny Pacquiao the cultural icon, Manny Pacquiao the citizen of the world. That's the man who's letting Margarito finish. Oh, and we're done. Pacquiao has his unanimous decision victory. Margarito has a vicious beatdown to remember and the satisfaction of having finished the fight. November 2011. Four years after their rematch, Pacquiao and Marquez squared off for a third time. As with the first two meetings, the action began quickly. There's a hard right hook by Pacquiao. Best punch of the fight so far. Now Pacquiao begins to land solidly with a left and a right upstairs. Hard right hand by Marquez. Pacquiao was knocked back on his heels. There's a hard left by Pacquiao, and a good right hook, and another left. Hard right hand by Marquez, followed by another. Pacquiao with a right hook, Marquez with a left hook. While Pacquiao threw more punches, the 38-year-old Marquez once again proved a tough puzzle to solve. Good left hand shot by Pacquiao. Tries to come back and capitalize. Marquez wants to answer right away. Big left hand for Pacquiao, and that might have won him the round. What a tremendous round. The crowd's on its feet. We've got a fight in Vegas. Heading into the 12th and final round, victory was still up for grabs on the scorecards. Marquez is very conservative here in the final round of a close fight. Pacquiao only needs to throw another combination here at the end, probably to seal this round. For the third time, a Pacquiao-Marquez classic ended with a narrow decision, Pacquiao claiming a somewhat unpopular majority decision victory. June 2012. Younger, unbeaten Timothy Bradley eyed an upset over the heavily favored Pacquiao. The champion looked to quickly put Bradley on the defensive. Hard left hand by Pacquiao down the pipe. Best punch of the round so far. Gets another straight left hand onto Bradley's jaw. Two big pops for Pacquiao. What's so impressive about this for Pacquiao is he has a real game prime junior welterweight and he's outclassing him. A round four foot injury slowed Bradley down. And while Pacquiao landed many big shots, he was unable to put the underdog on the canvas. And the left hand moves Bradley halfway across the ring. And Pacquiao drives him into the ropes. Bradley landed a right hand. He thinks for the moment he might have bothered Pacquiao. Bradley's proven he's got a pretty decent chin. And he's done better over the last couple rounds. To the complete shock of virtually every ringside observer, Pacquiao was upset, losing a stunning split decision. December 2012. Is this too much of a good thing, or is too much of a good thing a good thing? The fourth meeting of Marquez and Pacquiao would prove the most dramatic. Hard right hand by Marquez, and for the first time in four fights,
Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out. And he did it with his signature right hand over the top. Manny Pacquiao evens up the knockdown count as he puts Marquez on the canvas to score the knockdown in round five. Oh, Marquez hurt again. Marquez is hurt bad. Marquez is feet are wobbling. He's in trouble. Pacquiao attacks. What a round. All out war in Vegas. The final seconds of round six would stun the boxing world. Oh! And that's another knockdown. He's not getting up, Jim. He's been knocked out. A sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And we have to ask, will Manny Pacquiao ever be seen in the ring again? How will Pacquiao react when he's hit by a good, strong puncher? Because that's what Brandon Rios is. Oh, good left forward by Pacquiao. There have been some tremendous combinations by Pacquiao in the last 20 or 30 seconds. Pacquiao has shown off. His remarkable speed is still thunderous punching authority and his ability to get away from Brandon Rios' forward rushes. And Rios' face is a mess right now. He promised to show that he was the old Manny Pacquiao and that there's no reason to suggest his career is over. He's done all of that. His first win in two years. He dominated every round.